Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know, I know, last video I said I'd be, I'd be back quicker, but um, had a lot of stuff going on in life. New job, uh, new house. I've uh, been doing a lot of moving, painting. Um, just getting ready for new life challenges. But I feel like I'm. Hopefully this is it. Hopefully this is. It. I'm back now. But we'll see in the future. But um, just before we get into this video, don't forget like comment subscribe and um for the comment um can you guys tell me what you guys call this so i've got a picture here of a of one of the characters uh running across this like walkway between the bar room and the bedroom on hotel uh brenberg i think it's brenberg hotel if you guys can tell me what this what you call this in game uh, me and my mates having a debate about it, but I want to hear a comment below. What what do you guys call this? Um, with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So, <clears throat> I've made a good and bad list. I've been slowly filling it out over the last couple of weeks playing COD. I have about, I have about 77 hours played in this game. Um, not quite 100 yet, but uh, I, um, I'll tell you, I'll get into it in a, in a second why I don't have 100 hours played. But, but right now, let's get into the good of the game. So I've played through the whole campaign. Um, it was it was really good. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I like it. It's like one storyline split between two or three teams. It feels really consistent, and it uh, feels like you're progressing through the story constantly. And it made those classic COD set pieces feel like necessary and engaging. You know, stealth missions, AC-130 missions. It all felt necessary, uh, engaging, and um, all the story beats hit well. Uh, even the ending was a bit, eh, but CLRV, the, the campaign was probably longer than usual, I reckon about eight hours maybe, but it was, it was really fun, I had a really good time, and, and, um, I'm glad there was a good, like, starter before the game came out, obviously. Um, the Spec Op missions are back, Spec Op missions, um, they're pretty fun this year, I seen, I had, a, I had a few issues with them glitching, like, uh, not being able to move, but... This year they're fun, there's uh, like five or so at the moment, we've played through a couple of them. It reminds me of the old Spec Ops for sure. Uh, it was pretty tense, but as soon as you figure out how to do those missions, uh, you can run through the missions really easy. Uh, there's IW times in them too, which I really like from previous games, and I like uh, from the pit runs and stuff, which makes you really want to replay these missions, and obviously the star ratings as well make you want to replay these, because you can get one, two or three stars for them. Um, but yeah, the Spec Ops missions so far have been pretty fun. I've, here a lot of people have been having a lot more issues than I have had with the with the game with the spec op missions so far, but overall I've had a good time with them. Graphics now they're really nice. Let's 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 not downplay it at all. They're probably some of the best graphics in gaming, at least in FPSs right now. The water is really impressive. I uh, note this one time in the campaign, or a couple times actually, where I was just swimming through and it was just I was breathtaking and. And actually, it's like a lot of the rivers, especially that England mission where you're swimming around to kill the people stealthily. Um, there's a lot of like pollution in the water and whatnot. And I can imagine that's how the waters, especially around, you know, cities and stuff would actually look, the river systems and whatnot. So that was um, cool. Probably a bit realistic too. So something to, something to note. Um, the, yeah, the water was is really good. Um, so moving on to multiplayer. Uh, the camo grind for this game... Uh, not gonna lie, I'm not really a guy who gives shit about camos, like, at all, I don't care. But, the camos in this game make me actually want to grind for them, because they actually seem to be, you know, worth it, in some way, shape, or form. A, a bunch of them are really nice. Uh, gold is easy to un- well, I wouldn't say e it's not- gold is easy to unlock, but platinum's much harder, because you have to get gold in every gun, and, you know, it's making me- it's actually making me want to grind, which is a solid- it's better than usual, you know, because usually I wouldn't want to care about them. But uh, we'll we'll get back to the, the the guns in a second. One last thing, actually, uh, they the camos are all universal, which is a really neat touch. So you can unlock a camo for say a Fennec, and you can put it on the RPG, which is really really good, really neat touch. Um, and it makes you want to grind each gun so you get certain camos on each gun, which makes you really want to push it out, which is which is really really good. That being said, we'll come back to guns in a bit. Trust me. <laughs> And another thing we'll come back to in a bit, as a positive for right now, is uh, that Modern Warfare 2019 vibe is back. And what, what I mean by that is, like, a lot of people are back in this game. Like, obviously, it's the, I think it's the most highest selling COD of all time. There's heaps of, like, trash talk and banner, and I'm really enjoying that. It seems to have died down in the last couple of weeks, but it's been really, 
enjoyable to get in those trenches again, uh, just like Modern Warfare 2019. Uh, they fixed uh, movement issues such as slide cancelling. Um, and oh yeah, I don't. This is the thing I see. I don't see a lot of people talking about. This is the first. I think this might be the first Call of Duty ever to fix prone block. I have not been prone blocked one time in this game. And if I had, if it's possible, it hasn't happened to me. I have not been prone blocked one time, and that's really good thing. That's really that's really really good. I got to give I, um, I got to give Infinity Ward a W for this. Like, I don't think any COD has never had prone block in it before. I just don't. I don't think it's happened. But it's it's really really good. Um, I'm really, I'm really grasping the straws for the positives here. Um, this game's on Steam, which I really like. I prefer a lot more than Battle.net, and now I don't have to use Battle.net. I can uninstall it completely, which is, which is awesome for me. Yeah, I, I loathe Battle.net. I can't stand it. So having it on Steam is a really, really good. It's definitely a positive. Let's just say that. Uh, Warzone Two. Um, I actually have been really having fun with this. Uh, for right now, anyway, I probably prefer it more to mul the multiplayer. Um, I like the limited loadouts, left UAV spam. The armor system reminds me a lot of Blackout, which I mean we all know is a, is superior in gameplay. You know, um, overall, apart from the crashing issues, this game mode is super fun. I'm, I'm actually quite enjoying Warzone 2, and, and that comes from a guy who did not enjoy Warzone 1 at all. I could not get into it. I don't, I don't know why people enjoyed it so much, and I think the slow down pace actually makes for a better game i mean at least there's not 60 story buildings so you have to look at every window so that's always a solid plus for me all right, all right. it's time for the bad i mean if anyone was here for my uh, beta review you would have heard me yelling a lot in that um i've got i've got a lot to say so let's get started i don't think infinity ward has listened to the community very much since the start of the beta which is which is bad considering that this is going to be a two-year title and and certain stuff hasn't come up such as um the invisibility glitch in, in warzone um i ha i haven't heard i w uh address this i don't know if it's a but you can do it in multiplayer too but there's a, there's like i'm t i'm cherry picking like probably the worst one but there's a bunch of issues in this game like getting stuck in care, getting stuck in your kill streaks, like the bomb drone. Um, but I don't know if the I'm sure it has, but that the glitch where you could get shot by the carrier with a with a riot shield and you become inv invincible, that was fucking wild. But then, you know what I mean? They but then they patch a glitch like uh, I think there was a money glitch in either Warzone or DMZ, and 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 they patched that instantly. Two days done. You know, I know I know the developers are on break right now, but it's just it feels like. They're patching the stuff that Activision wants them to patch, but they're not listening to the community about multiplayer, especially multiplayer at all. And I've seen a lot of Warzone streamers turn away from Warzone as well, because I don't think they feel like they're being listened to either, but the difference between us and them is they don't, you know, they didn't pay for a game that came out half finished, but you know what, I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm getting ahead of myself. And they keep claiming this is going to be the most uh, supported COD ever, which is so far... 11 12 13 multiplayer maps two being remakes three being maps from real life and the rest being the maps from warzone maybe i think there's maybe one map that isn't one of those three things and season one man season one was shoot house and shipment and we haven't even got shipment yet and i think this game needs more 6v6 maps before we need fucking shipment and shoot house but that's a personal thing i just don't think all right it's a segue let's do it. i don't think the maps are very good they took an mw 2019 approach with it it's realism over layout um uh, they don't look bad they look great some of them look really really like some of them are probably even better than i mean some of them are better than euphrates bridge you know but i don't look forward to loading up any of the maps apart from shoot house and it's getting ruined i'll get onto that later um and it might be just right now maybe it's the spawns um maybe it's some of the hard points and bomb sites which are in some weird positions weird positions and the, and the spawns yeah we'll get to it but every map I'm, I'm racking my brain trying to think the only map i think i might like is maybe 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 farm but it's a bad, it's not a very good hardpoint map. Of the base maps, I can't think of any map. I'm just like, this is my map. 
Even even Vanguard had a bow cage, which was a good map, a decent map at the very least. You know, Tuscan and Bocage are decent maps, and I was like happy to see them when they came up. But this game, n not a single map that comes up that I want to play at all. All right, now back on the guns. All right. While having, so in this game, you unlock different attachments by unlocking levels on different guns. So if you unlock an attachment for the M4, you can use it for the Hurricane, which is an SMG version that you get by playing, unlocking more guns off the M4 family, tree branch, whatever. Um, whilst having attachments unlocked by using different guns isn't the worst idea in the world, it is so confusing. To, even to veteran players, and most of us have got our guns unlocked now, so it's not a big issue, but for the people that are just joining this game, are fresh, they're brand new, like, I don't know, like, for the people that just don't have all the time in the world to play this game, like, I, I don't know how, what they're doing, I don't, I'm lost when I'm looking through these menus, like, I don't know what's going on. Um, actually, that's a perfect segue as well, a little self high five action art. The UI in this game is fucking horrendous down bad you can't find anything in this like netflix style looking menu and i know it's come out now that the guy that made the menu or the ui designer or whatever is actually an ex hulu designer which is a streaming service in america we don't have it here in australia so i um, mean i don't know what they were thinking like with this menu also I, like this is something i just read here actually i just noticed is why do you have to restart the whole game to play campaign like i've tried to play campaign a couple times and every single time i have to I have to open the game, right? Restart for an update, right? I have to go back in. I'm like, oh, I don't want to play multiplayer, play campaign. I have to go to campaign, restart the game again, then to launch back into the campaign menu. And it makes no sense. No sense. So it's it's hard to find things through these menus. And then the menus just throw you back out of the game a bunch. And you, you're just lost and confused. And, and it's not good for new players. It can't be. It can't be good for new players. The next thing ties in the maps, but the spawns are so bad. And I know I mentioned this before, but... I've spawned into gunfire, grenades, claymores. It's absurd. I don't know who QA tested this game, but there's there's not a map. There's not a map where they get this right. Not a single one. I don't know how they can get it so wrong on every map, but I don't know if that's the design. I don't know if that's how they want it to play because it, it's no there's no it doesn't feel like there's any consistency to the map at all. Ever. I'll be running in big patches where like you'll be looking at the mini map or right, my team might on my left and behind me I'll run into the big open space There's nobody there and my teammates are getting kills back in the spawn. They just spawned in. It's so bizarre All right, Next point next point the movement in this game feels so clunky I don't miss like cancel by any way shape or form. Okay, my thumbs. Thank me I don't have to do that anymore but why is the slide so slow? And why does it take two seconds to come out of anything you do in this game? Like, movement-wise, sliding, diving, sprinting, jumping, all comes with huge delays in ADS. Add to the list, we got coming out of a deady, coming out of a kill streak, everything adds ADS, or just like sprint to fire, or like just put your gun away that you can't shoot somebody. It slows down the experience so immensely. We got, um... Field upgrades, we won't listen to again. Daddy's still a field upgrade with super loud footsteps. It's like a, this game is made for campers in corners, ride shielders, um, anyone sitting on a heady. I just, I know they've put the footsteps down, but it just feels like it's this game still like, I'll still be watching a kill cam where I'm running up to a guy, no daddy, right? And literally like, Two seconds before he hears me, uh, two before, two seconds before he sees me, he hears me, right? Turns around, slaps his belly on the ground, looks at a doorway. I run through the doorway, I die. And I, this goes into another point of mine, actually, where the, the red dots above people's heads, inconsistent. They're so inconsistent. If you, if say that same scenario happens, I'll bust through the door and I won't see a red dot, but there'll be a black little fucking mark in the corner where this guy's on his belly just aiming at me. I didn't know he was there. I've checked. I checked the corner. I scanned, right? I looked. I looked. The, the visibility makes it impossible to see these people. And then I get shot in the back as soon as I start running out. And it's like, there was nothing I could do there. Except for see the future, right? But he, he had time to hear me, get positioned, lay on the ground, wait for me to bust through the door, and then kill me. Like, he... Is the person standing there doing nothing right and he has the advantage over the guy that's moving around the map trying to control 
the enemy spawns control the movement you know hold like it's we got the corner campers have all these advantages to kill me but i don't have a single advantage coming through that door whether it's the footsteps whether it's the door sound whether it's him laying on his belly in the darkest corner like there's nothing if you're rushing this game just stop stop go find a heady go post on it and then stay there the rest of the game and if you die off that heady go find a new heady that's the, how you play this game i every time i run around in this map i die the way you play this game is you find a cover that's going to cover your body or you find a corner that's nice and dark get that new la thieves skin Mwah. you're beautiful you're set okay Otherwise, you're running around with a riot shield and a shotgun. Do not play this game any other way. Speaking about visibility, it's uh, in this game, it's not as bad as 2019, right? But it's still pretty bad. Because um, you, when you're shooting anyone in this game, it turns into chase the glowing red diamond, which I've already said is very inconsistent, right? Uh, because of the muzzles, flash, smoke, and screen shake, the amount of people in bushes and dark corners I miss when checking around makes me want to slam my controller through my monitor. And there is literally nothing worse than just missing somebody that is laying down in a nice bush or dark corner that I've just I've scanned over because I just haven't hasn't clicked in my brain. Because usually in most games, if you if you cross your crosshair across a person on the cross your crosshair across a person <laughs> on the ground right you get a little red marker it indicate that guy's there i probably scan see oh i snap back and get him right but not in this game not in this game because you have to be i'm pretty sure you have to be either sitting on them for a while to like get the red dot or you have to be ads at pointed at them to get the red dot so it's very easy for these little corner camping jimmies to to just lay on the ground i'm just gonna i, I do a jump, I jump around the corner, I scan, I miss him, I keep trying to run, and then I get shot in the back. Very easy to do. My absolute advice for this game is corner camp, use shotguns and ride shields. Use oh yeah, the akimbo pistols is like a three shot. Three shot pistols with a ride shield, perfect, right? Or just use any any gun sitting in a corner or laying down, bro. It's it's the only way to play this game. Headies or headies, the only other way. Just sit on a heady the whole game. Um, quick, quick note, I wrote this one before season one, but the barracks weren't in at launch. I don't know why. Um, you know, I don't know if you guys knew, but this game has like 12 developers on it and we couldn't see our KDs, SPMM, anyway, uh, uh, score per minute, uh, anything, any stats, but now that's fixed. So I, I guess that's a good thing. Praise infinity ward. Um, the SPMM in this game is so strict. I feel like it's the most strict we've ever had. If we win a game. The next game is just CDL Champs Grand Final. Like, there is no in-between at all. Which doesn't help with the TTK, which is extremely low in this game. And it can feel like you just get zapped completely out of existence in no time. Like, it has the this game has a really, really good... Um, the old uh, Call of Duty has shoot first, shoot first and die. This is a really big game for shoot first and die. Because I'll round a corner, shoot somebody, and then just out of nowhere, I'm just disappeared. Now, I'm not sure if that's due to the headshot multiplier... Or what, but it just doesn't. This game's TTK is too low, in my opinion. I just, I think maybe the headshot multiplier is, is the is the thing, but I can't can't say for sure. My name's Zen, not exclusive Ace. So um, another thing I've seen, but I think this might be an Australian only problem because I haven't seen any large creators whinging about it. So um, I've been having a lot of issues lately with the larger modes, such as Invasion, just like the whole server lagging, just like the whole server at 130 meg, and. It might be a DDoS issue, but this has happened like six or seven games I've played. And we've had it happen in Warzone a couple times now. So I just want to just want to put that out there. That there's, there might be an Australian server issue, but it definitely happens. And it's really, really, really annoying. Oh, yes. This one I want to highlight. I think this has been... I don't think this is a, as big of an issue if it is an issue anymore. But there was problems with the anti-cheat banning people uh, who don't cheat. And it locked them out of the game, even though they spent money on it. Uh, which is a scummy move from Activision Infinity Ward, and, and I haven't seen them address it at all. Um, I really do think there needs to be repercussions from a company if they're not giving their com customers rebates, refunds, something back for these issues happening, especially if they bought the whole game. Their accounts should be un the accounts that are proven to not be cheaters should be unbanned, and, and I think somebody should be checking that. But it's just something I wanted to bring up and make sure that everyone was well aware of the Activision. I don't think they were admitting to doing this even in the slightest. So. 
there's something. Um, and if anyone's been banned, I, I do highly suggest you you get at these companies, even if it is litigation in some way, shape, or form, because I I've seen it to work actually. I've seen a person um, sue Activision. They unbanned his account next day. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you're paying for a hundred and ten dollar product. You're getting banned out of without actually cheating. So. Seriously, if this has happened to you, I, I do strongly suggest you do some litigation. You talk to somebody about this because it, it is scummy. And these Activision really needs to be held accountable for these type of issues. Oh, and by the way, I've seen so much cheating. So that anti-cheat doesn't even fucking work. So um, play the games are broken. They work, in, they work in private match, right? You can get a play of the game in private match. You cannot get a pro play of the game in Modern Warfare, uh, in Modern Warfare 2 pubs. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe they're just exclusively using it for the private matches and maybe CDL, but um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, while we're on that topic too, switching between plays and search still takes way too long. The when you like it takes way too long. So when you die, you can switch between plays and search and destroy, and it just takes way too long. And MW twenty nineteen had this same glitch, right? And it's not as bad, but it's still annoying. And I want to see what players on my team are doing. And it's a little annoying, but for people that play Search and Destroy on a regular basis, like myself, because honestly, respawn in this game is horrendous. Horrendous. It is so bad. This is really bad. This is really annoying. It's something I, I want to constantly show people what's going on. Like if I'm if I'm streaming or I'm I'm doing a video, like I want to have screens for people to watch constantly, right? Content. And as a person who has to sit here and watch other people play a game, I want to see what the fuck they're doing. Because I want to sit here and just fucking play with my hands, you know what I mean? Play with my, you know? I don't want to do that. Let, fix the fucking search cameras, man. Fix them. I want to switch between players instantly. If not instantly, seconds. Two seconds. I have a fucking 3060. And yeah, that's not top of the end of the graphics card. But why? Why do I have to take fucking 20 seconds to change from one player to another person in search and destroy? Doesn't make any sense. Alright. All, right. all in all, look, this isn't my favorite Call of Duty. I'm upset that we have to deal with this for two years. Um, I hope, I hope and pray that Microsoft gets this acquisition deal with Activision because I would love to see some of these old CODs um, get get some new life in them, get a remaster out. I We need something, man, because me personally, and like I think the community right now is enjoying this game. This is not a two-year title. Some of these issues that I'm telling you right now are going to start affecting even the people that enjoy this game right now. And Warzone Crowd... They're already gone. They're already gone. I haven't chatted to you about DMZ yet. It's probably the best thing in this game right now. I was hesitant to try it. I I actually had the most fun in DMZ and Warzone. And if the DMZ, there's no DMZ community to start off with, the Warzone 2 community is leaving this, like, as it is. It's brand new, and no one wants to play it. Mate, people are saying Overwatch 2 is dying, and it has... Over half the viewers of Warzone 2, the probably one of the biggest games in the world, Call of Duty. Overwatch 2 has over half the viewers of it. it Valorant is almost surpassing it, you know what I mean? This game is going to fucking die. I'm talking Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer specifically. I think Warzone 2 just being free to play will always have a community, right? But they have shafted multiplayer players so much that... Like, I think people are just going to be over that, over this game eventually, you know? Um, I think it's going to be like Modern Warfare 2019. No one was playing the multiplayer of that game after maybe halfway through the year, maybe three months into launch. And we're getting up to that point where it's about three months into launch now. And I honestly, I don't see the community staying around for this one. I think we'll have our Warzone heads. Maybe a couple of people break off into DMZ, but this is going to be... I'm telling you right now, right? This is going to be the saddest year of multiplayer content ever. And they're going to then throw a $90 DLC at us at the end of the year to try and make us come back to the game for $90. I'm telling you, I'm not buying that. And I don't think you should either. Right now, this game is so bad. It is it is so bad. The gameplay is, is horrible. It is meant for people... Who, who aren't good at this game, who who like laying in corners, who who don't actually like taking gunfights. You know, they the, this game isn't about gunfights, it's about it's about um it's about not being seen, it's about having a riot shield, it's about posting on a heady the whole time, right? So you're just shooting people that are running at you, right? There is no gunfights in this game. You either you either get zapped or you zap somebody. That's it. 
I can't tell you one time where I've had a good gunfight. I haven't had a good gunfight, right, since 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 Black Ops Cold War. I haven't actually shot at a guy who shot at me and we've shot bullets at each other. Like, to sum it all up, this game is a mockery of what Modern Warfare 2 was. And I enjoy it in short bursts, but I don't see myself playing it for the rest of the year. I'm, I'm really hoping something come, drops out, comes out, drops, that is... Uh, FPS shooter that just takes my breath away because I'm certainly I think after this I'm done with this game I'm done with this franchise um, I'm going to continue to play it obviously all my friends play it so I think that's how we all get stuck in this constant spiral but I can't play this game on my own I physically can't it makes me so angry and I don't think I've played a Call of Duty that has made me this angry ever there is so much bullshit in the game to kill you. It's not even funny. And I don't really enjoy posting up. I'm a guy that likes to move around the map. And I feel like I, if I move right at all, I am always going to lose gunfights. And that might be me. I might need to adapt. I might need to get better. But at this rate, what I'm saying right now, without ranked especially, I don't feel like touching this game. Apart from Warzone 2, maybe. Maybe a little bit of DMZ thrown in. But... Yeah, for right now, I'm just going to put it down while I wait for something else. Maybe just can keep, keep bitching about this game because I don't think I'm going to be fully done with it. But I am certainly looking for a game to make me put this down. Um, and I, I, I do think this is the, the end of multiplayer. Um, I think Warzone, like, I know Warzone's been a focus for the longest time, but I definitely think that this goes to show how little they care about multiplayer. How much feedback we had to give them but and how little they changed um i know this is more of an iw issue but i just don't yeah i don't i don't see it it's not a good look for the multiplayer i, I don't think anyone's going to be playing the multiplayer by the end of year two or care for that matter i think the only people that are going to be playing multiplayer are people that want to grind guns for warzone and and dmz exists it's really i mean i would grind in dmz you get some good levels out of that stuff you know but, you know, I'm glad the Warzone 2 grinders have got the two maps that they, you know, want this season. And, you know, multiplayer community keeps going hungry. Look, um, I'm really disappointed with this game. As you can hear, um, it's kind of broken my no will to even make these videos, to be honest. As well as I've, my life has been busy. But all in all, I just... Uh, I think this Modern Warfare 2 is just a, it's a mockery of the name. The nostalgia that goes into the words Modern Warfare 2, it's, it's really sad to see where it's come, this franchise now. Uh, but all in all, I'm not having a good time. Let me know how you guys are having a good, if you guys are having a good time, because uh, my, my beta review, it was much angrier than this. I tried to come, I could have come in with that energy again, but I, I decided not to. Um... Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment what that place is on that map. My mates my mates have a different call out than I do, but I want to hear what you guys call it out. So, yep, like and subscribe. Big love to all y'all. I hope you're having an absolutely banger of a day. Have a good one, guys.